Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this About Us page design to your Blogger website. So let's get started. If you want to know how to design this from scratch using HTML and CSS, then I have videos on that. You can check them out in the description below. Alright, so let's go to our Blogger dashboard and uh, Let's go ahead and create a new page. So go to pages and uh, click on this plus icon over here. And uh, we will give it a title of about us. The next thing you need to do is uh, we need to change the mode to HTML mode. So right now it is in the compose mode. Here we can normally type some text we want over here. But if you want to add some custom design to your website, then you have to add some HTML code as well. So if you want to add HTML code, you have to go over here to this uh, button and uh, then select HTML view. Now here you can copy and paste your HTML code. So let's go to our source code and uh, the link of the source code will be available in the description below. All right, so let's go over here and uh, copy this about container division. And we'll paste it in our blogger page. Alright, now the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to replace all the image SRCs with the actual URL of the image. So we have to first of all upload the image and then add the URL of that image over here. So for that, let's go back to the compose view. And let's select this image and uh, let's click on this button called insert image. And then click on upload from computer. Now click on choose files. So this is our project. Let's go into images and uh, let's select the first image and then click on open. Now click on the image and click on select. And we can see that the image is uploaded. So let's go back to the HTML view and uh, let's get the link of the image. So here we can see that we have a new division with the class of separator. And uh, the only thing we need to get from this is the href. So let's select this uh, link from here and we'll copy and paste it inside the SRC. And now we can just delete this code that was generated. All right, the source has been updated successfully. Now in the same way, I'll just add all the other images and update the sources. So in the division called our team, we have these uh, three team members. So let's go to the compose view and uh, let's add those images. The images of the team members have been uploaded. Let's also upload the court icon image. Alright, all the images have been uploaded. So let's go to the HTML view and let's update the sources with the correct link. I'll just fast forward this process. And we have updated all the sources of the images. So if you go to the compose view, we can see that all the images are placed correctly. So let's go ahead and publish this page. Now the next thing we'll do is we will add the CSS. So let's go to theme and click on customize. And then click on advanced and go to add CSS. And here we can add the CSS. So let's go back to the code editor. Let's go to style.css. And this is our CSS. So let's copy everything and we'll paste it over here. And then click on apply to blog. And then click on back to blogger. So our styles have been applied. So let's go to pages and view how our page looks. And let's scroll down and we have some problems in our page. Now there seems to be some problem with our HTML because uh, these items are not placed correctly. And uh, then we also need to change the color of this text to black. And I think we also have some space between these two lines of text. So 
here we can see we have a lot of space in between so we can add that as well so let's go back to the blogger dashboard and uh, go to theme and customize and go to advanced and click on add CSS now here we'll make some changes and see whether it works the first thing is that we'll just change the color of the text to black and then click on apply to blog and let's refresh this page and the color is fixed for the paragraph we'll change the color of all the text in our about container so let's cut this code from here and uh, we'll paste it inside the about container and uh, let's click on apply to blog and uh, let's refresh this page now we need to change the color of this h3 as well so let's go to our style.css and we haven't added any specific styles to the s3 so let's type about container s3 and uh, we'll set the color to black and we'll also add a margin bottom of 40 pixels and let's see how it looks so apply to blog and then go over here and uh, refresh this page all right so it is looking fine now let's inspect what issue we have with the HTML of the our theme section. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And the our mission is inside the our theme division. So we have to move it outside. So let's go to our page. We'll go back to blogger. And then go to pages. And click on this page. Let's go to the HTML and uh, let's see so here we can see the division is starting over here and uh, this is where the division should end so we'll just add an ending division over here and then we have the our mission and let's delete this extra ending division over here and I think that's it with the HTML so let's go ahead and update this page and uh, let's uh, refresh this page and now we can see that everything is working all right now the last thing we need to do is we need to add the animation so right now if we refresh our page we don't have the animation it should start from zero and go to whatever value we have specified like 43 and 15 so let's go to our source code and uh, if you go to index.html we can see we have this uh, script over here and uh, then we also have this link for odometer min.js and also the link of the CSS of odometer so let's copy these things to our theme so first of all let's copy the link of the CSS and uh, we'll go to theme and then click on this option button and click on edit HTML and here inside the head section we can just paste the link alright now let's copy and paste the JavaScript link and also the script So let's go to the end of our code and just before the body ends we'll just paste the code. All right now let's click on save. So the theme was updated successfully so let's go to about us and refresh this page. And we can see that the animation is working all right and everything else is working fine. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.